Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Ives number 8102. I want to make sure I get my part number correct. 8102 HD-0. This is in a US 28 finish. And the set of pole handles that I have here on my desk are in the J mount, the back-to-back -back mount. This is just an example of what these poles will look like. This client happened to order the back-to-back -back mount, and here we go. So a back-to-back -back mount, when you're ordering a back-to-back -back mount, you're certainly going to need to order in multiples of two poles because it takes two poles to make, obviously, a set back-to-back. -back. Um, unless, of course, you were ordering just a missing half of a set, then you'd order one, but then specify what side of the set that we are uh, sending you because the preparations, as you can see in the ends, are different. The exterior end, whether it be a back-to-back -back mount or just a single through-bolt mount, be drilled and tapped. Okay, This size hole is 5 16 5 16 18 is the thread type. And that's nice because that's a bit larger than your standard quarter 20 that you'll see from other manufacturers. 5 16 18 is the standard thread for this pull. So your two bolts will go on and then what will happen is your other handle, your interior side, and you know that's the interior side because it'll be prepped for set screws top and bottom. Set screws are indeed included. You'll get that set screw started in there, a couple of turns, get that slid down and over, and the machining is just a bit mucked up there. Needs to be just cleaned out slightly. I'll have to get in there with a small file on both ends it appears. So I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to get that cleaned out and then continue on showing you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, we were able to get those tiny little filings cleaned out which occurred when they drilled through the handle for the set screws. It's going to sit just like that. Okay, You're then going to run your set screw or you'll tighten your set screw and give yourself a complete installation. And that's what the handles are going to look like. Your exterior side is going to be the tapped side, and your set screw side will be the interior side. So that's the 8102 HD. So now let's take some dimensional properties of this 8102 pull handle just to make sure it matches what they say it's supposed to, it's supposed to be. Three quarter inch diameter, they're telling us, is what the pull handle is going to be itself. That makes sense. If it's going to be a 10 inch center to center, and believe it or not, the zero in the part number means 10. If that was a dash eight, I should say the dash zero. If that was a dash eight, that would be a eight inch, but the zero means 10. So that means it's going to have a 10 inch center to center, and therefore a 10 and three quarter overall, di overall height. It's going to have a clearance dimension of inch and a half. That makes sense. And therefore a projection of two and three quarter. So this is on the smaller side. Three quarter is the smaller side for pull handles. You'll generally more commonly see one inch. You might be installing hardware down onto something where you specifically want a slightly smaller than average handle. If you're doing a narrow aluminum storefront door, I've seen people install aluminum doors or aluminum type construction uh, on their in residential applications or on aluminum storefronts, when you're trying to make it architecturally more unique, I suppose, yeah, you might go with a small handle. If you've got the really narrow aluminum style, the inch and or the two inch style, yeah, you might go with a slightly smaller handle. The only downside is a smaller diameter will, um, you know, exert force on the back of the hand a little bit. It's like a grab bar. A, the larger diameter grab bar is a bit more comfortable for people to use and maybe a larger diameter um, pull bar would also be the same sort of level of comfort for someone. This is going to come from the factory, with, unless otherwise noted, for inch and three quarter thick doors. So that bolt's going to be two and a quarter to the head. Okay, It's going to have an overall length of about three and a quarter. That's all normal. Okay, Very typical and standard on that material. Now, there is extended information below this video 
in the description. We've gone over the center to center and the diameter, its projection and its clearance. We have talked about the 516 18 mounting bolt size. These are in a 628 finish. That means clear anodized aluminum. This is what 628 looks like. That's clear anodized aluminum. Okay, very nice finish um, from Ives. A couple of handling marks on the interior side. I will, I will just make that observation. It's finished hardware, uh, Ives. It needs to stay protected. Nothing. There's no reason that there should be any handling mark on this whatsoever. There are some links below this video to some documents. Let's go over that now. First of all, we have a cut sheet. The cut sheet is a dimensional uh, representation of the item for the 6, 8, and 10 inch size. Very good. That's easy. Nothing important there really. Uh, then we're moving on to the mounting options. That's important to understand because you are obviously going to be able to mount this in different ways. We're doing a J mount, which is a back-to-back -back sort of mount. Um, for then you define the door thickness. Okay. Obviously, more common would possibly be your uh, standard mount, which is a through bolt mount. Possibly your F type mount, where you're going to put a push plate over it, or a concealed mount. All that is relatively common. Um, back to back will be a J. Standard is just going to be your standard mount. Okay. Uh, if you don't specify, you're going to get a standard mount, a through bolt with a uh, countersunk washer. Okay. Now, let's take a look. Now, the next uh, link down here is going to be the product brochure, and that's really handy because it will allow you to familiarize yourself with pull handles from Ives. Okay. It's a pretty handy little document that's there. Um, you'll see the 8102, and it's one inch version variant. The 8103 is also there. And the one inch is going to be more common. Just be mindful of that. Nothing wrong with ordering three quarter inch, but just know you probably bump into the one inch more often. As you continue to scroll through that catalog, you'll see other variations of pull handles. The 8111-5, that's really common. We see those all the time. The 8112-5, occasionally we get a call for those either through bolted or surface mounted. The 8121, you'll see that in hospitals, but you'll see that in hospitals. It might be tough to see those nowadays in hospitals, but those were the original hospital compliant sort of pull handle. Um, I've not been in a hospital that has those in a long time, but something built in the 1950s that hadn't been remodeled, in, let's say in the 1980s, you would have seen those. You can pull on that handle, but then on the hook underneath, you can get your arm under and pull the door open because you've you know, sanitized your hands, and that's how they would, would have pulled the door open. The offset 8190, pretty common as well. All of this you can do in the different mountings, single pulls, back-to-back -back mounts. Now, on page one of the product brochure, back to the 8102, let's talk about the different finishes that are available. The most common is going to be stainless steel, US 32D, or US 28 aluminum. Okay. You can also do US 3 or 605 polished brass, US 4, 606 satin brass. That would be actually the fourth finish. US 10, 612 antique, bra uh, sorry, pardon me, satin bronze. Uh, US 10B, 613 oil rub bronze. US 15, 619 satin nickel. US 26 or 625 finish polished chrome. I'd probably avoid polished chrome because it's plated, and as you touch pull handles, what's in your hand? Your keys, your wedding ring, things of that nature. You don't want to break the plating off. It will happen. The factory will probably even suggest that you not do polished chrome. Do polished stainless is the point. Although they don't list it there, I'm sure that they can make it. US 26D or 626 for satin chrome. That's the most durable of all plated finishes. Um, the most durable of all finishes is US 32D, the most durable of all finishes, that's being a natural finish. They don't really have a good dark bronze anodized on here, and that's odd, meaning it doesn't cater to the aluminum storefront market very well. Um, you do occasionally find that things are available that aren't listed in the product catalog or price list. I find it unusual that they can't give you a dark bronze anodized because oil rubbed in a 613 is not a 
really appropriate in lots of instances for aluminum storefront where you're doing dark bronze anodized. You can also do an antimicrobial coating when you add the AM suffix to the end of the part number that will give you antimicrobial, which you're going to see in hospitals all the time. That would be done over stainless steel only. And it's diff you can't really tell that there's an antimicrobial coating, except if you're a door person who sold it in the past. You can tell. There seems to be a heavy lacquer on that stuff. And to my eyes, has a slightly bluish tint. But the data on that is that they, it, antimicrobial significantly retards the growth of bacterial um, ba bacteria, bacterial forms of life on the surface of the poles. I would think if you're going to do those old school 81, 21 poles, you'd want it with an antimicrobial coating. Okay. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Ives products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. I am partial to Ives, and it's primarily because it's out of sentimentality, because I think Ives was the first product line that I had become familiar with early in my career of door hardware. Um, sentimentality aside, I would suggest uh, products of note. I would suggest that you review their pivots. They've got a great line of offset and center hung pivots for commercial doors, aluminum, wood, steel. Uh, and what's notable about that is their approach in terms of the installation instructions. Very simple and straightforward paperwork that is m far more accessible, especially to the person who's doing it for the first time and does not have a lot of experience staring at templates with dozens of measurements that are all important. Um, but the Ives approach is a bit less complicated initially. Um, and that's, that's what I would like uh, to review from Ives if I were you. The catalog is there for your, your uh, review. Any questions on the Ives? 8102 HD-0 in a J mount and a 628 finish, clear anodized aluminum, or any other Ives products, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.